So you're planning a wedding and considering a first look. Well, first off, congrats. I love photographing first looks. You get a series of photographs that you otherwise would not get. We're also able to choose both the time and location of the first look. This really ensures the best quality for your photographs. Now, I know what you're thinking. You want your groom to see you for the first time walking down the aisle at the beginning of the ceremony. And I get that, I really do. But I'm guessing you probably also wanna see a really emotional response from your groom, maybe even a tear down the cheek. Now from my experience, both are being a guy and from photographing countless weddings. Typically, guys just don't get that emotional. For one, they're kind of put on the spot. They're up front on the altar in front of all their friends and family. Nerves are high, to say the least. And when nerves are high, you kind of shut down a little bit. And really, your only thing going through your mind is trying not to faint or fall over. <laughs> At least that's what I was thinking when I was getting married. Now, is this 100%? No, I mean, I have seen some guys get pretty emotional when they see their bride walking down the aisle for the first time. But for the most part, I say for the majority, for sure, that they just don't get that emotional. Now, why a first look can be so special, it's a lot more of an intimate setting. It could just be the two of you. It could be the two of you with your wedding party and or family. But it can be as big or as small as you, you're comfortable with. And when your groom is more comfortable and it's not in a high pressure situation like kind of like the ceremony, he's able to really kind of open up a lot more. And then that's where I see a lot more emotions be expressed. So on top of the ideal location and lighting, we get awesome expressions. It's all the ingredients for a perfect photograph. And you know what? You still get those photos of your groom seeing your bride walking down the aisle at the ceremony. They're as emotional as they would if they haven't seen you for the most part. So you're not losing out on anything. In fact, you're gaining more from getting a whole series of photographs of the first look. So what are some other advantages of a first look? Well, when we do a first look, we're then able to do wedding party photos and bride and groom photos, all before the ceremony. When we take care of all these photographs before the ceremony, this really frees up a lot of time for after the ceremony, which means more time at cocktail hour, and who doesn't want that? Now, if you choose to not have a first look, after the ceremony, we would have to do the bride and groom photos, wedding party photos, and family formals. And this is completely fine. At the end of the day, this is your wedding day and you should do what you want and feel comfortable with. So if you wanna wait until after the ceremony to do all these photos, that's fine. But I definitely recommend having enough time in between the end of the ceremony and cocktail hour so we can take care of all these photographs and so still a lot of time for you to enjoy a cocktail hour with your guests. Now this is not a time to rush through the photographs because once the reception starts, the portrait side of the day is completely over. First Look has so many advantages, and this is why I highly recommend it. If you have any questions about a first look, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and have a great day.